In today's video, I'm going to share with you why you never have energy that's long lasting, that's keeping you feeling energized, good, vibrant, you know, that high frequency we all talk about, especially in the spiritual health movement. Why do we keep turning to these cooked foods, these stimulating foods, the junk foods, the, you know, the other things that we know are not serving us? But I'm going to share with you in today's video why and what we can do about it. It's much easier than you think. And it's all about frequency. I like what Dr. Nikola Tesla says, that if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. Everything in life is vibration. We are vibrational beings. Before I go into a little bit more, I'm just gonna let, let you know that I'm on day 14 of my juice cleanse and I am feeling freaking great, like next level, because it's an injection of this concentrated vitamins and minerals, but the frequency in the fruits and the vegetables elevates my energy. And that's what we're going to talk about, about the food, about the frequency in foods. The quantum physics describes it as the universe as nothing more than vibrating strings of energy. Just like sound healing, if you've ever experienced sound healing or certain music, you know, you're just like feeling so good, then this is what it's about. They have offer vibrational frequency, just like the radio, you know, when you dial in, remember the radio stations? <laughs> I don't listen to those anymore, I don't know if you do, but... Uh, that goes on a certain frequency. We all are vibrating on a different frequency. What frequency are you vibrating at? What are you intaking to increase your vibrancy, your frequency? Each molecule has its own molecular vibration. When something vibrates, it propagates a wave of energy and emits a frequency that can be measured. Now, the energetic vibration or frequency of food is most commonly related or measured through units called hertz or megahertz. Let's talk about just calories. This is the amount of energy needed to raise the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. So the energy of your body is dependent on the vibrational frequency of your cells which in turn is dependent on the food you eat and other factors such as a state of health, both physical and emotional. We are electrical beings made up of vibrating cells. The higher the hertz, the higher the energy. Scientists from the University of Napoli, Trent in Italy, have shown that cancer cells are about 70% softer and show a lower frequency response compared to healthy cells. 1992, Bruce Taino of Taino Technology and head of Department of Agriculture at Washington University developed a calibrated frequency monitor, CFM. That has been used to measure the frequencies of the human body and various food. They use this machine at John Hopkins University to study frequency in relationship to diseases. When our organs and glands aren't functioning properly or are diseased, their vibrational energy is decreased. That cancer can grow because the frequency has dropped below 42 megahertz. And when you have a cold or flu, your body is at a frequency of around 58 megahertz. Whereas happy, healthy bodies, high vibing at around 62 to 68 megahertz. Incredible. Just like our aura that we have, this electromagnetic energy field that surrounds our body. I recommend watching the one field, by the way, on uh, YouTube. It's a phenomenal, great documentary on energy. So even your emotions have a specific vibration as documented by the Health Math Institute. Now, energy levels are effect affected by what we eat. You are what you eat. We've all heard of that statement. Now, the frequency of the food can be used to unleash yourself, your self-healing capacity and boost your energy at a cellular level naturally. Nature's intelligence supports our own intelligence as we really are solar powered animals. And don't get me wrong, vitamins and minerals, they're all essential nutrients, but what we can do is start to look at 
the frequencies of food and even just not food, but who was, the environments we're in, the music we're listening to, you pick a fruit from the ripened fruit from the fruit tree that is alive, it's intact, unprocessed, and it's vibrating at a high frequency. When eaten, that energy is transferred to our body and cells, a process called biological transmutation. However, cooked foods, unprocessed foods, all vibrate a very low frequency. In fact, meat, processed fruits are at zero. Get away from these processed, the canned, the chopped, the heated, the pasteurized, the radiated, the preserved. Get rid of those. They're all destroying our cells and making us sick. Many pollutants like heavy metals, persistent organic pollutants, these are all low frequencies. These toxins can kill your energy, wipe you out. That's why you're consistently feeling fatigued. Astringent fruits, foods like your lemons, like your pineapples, your oranges, the real citrus fruits, really pull those toxins out, those wastes out. That's why I'm on this juice cleanse because I know I still have toxins in my body. I still have cravings. I still get moments of why should I be tired? And that's because I wasn't eating the right cleanest diet. I feel my best as much as I can, mentally, physically, spiritually. Don't want to settle. Do not want to settle for mediocre in my life. Fresh fruits and vegetables are the highest frequency foods on this earth. When you cook and alter these foods in some way, we deplete its electrical energy. Our organs and glands aren't functioning properly or our disease, their vibrate vibrational energy decreases. This is why we feel tired and run down and we get sick. Now the highest energy center in our body is our brain and nervous system. If you're suffering from depression and anxiety, this is because of the foods we are consuming. And obviously the thoughts, so everything's linked. You know, I really do work on the thought processing, the, the, these beliefs that we have that really affect our nervous system. But the foods, they have a massive role in how we feel. Now the brain and the nervous system contain the highest energetic and electrical tissues when nerves require more energy than a typical cell in our body. So if we want to heal and increase our brain power and energy levels, high frequency foods are essential. So if you want to get up easy in the morning, feel good, then start to look at what you're eating. When I eat low quality food, it really is obvious to me how that impacts my mind and my body my energy levels. High frequency foods are essential for supplying with long lasting energy, not these fake stimulating foods, caffeine, all these lower frequency foods, junk food, meats, they leave us best feeling okay, maybe energized, but they quickly weaken our adrenals, our immune system, our nervous system. Dr. Robert Moore states, if you wish to experience this pure energy, you must consume pure energy. It's that simple. Where do you go from here? I encourage you to eat more fruits and vegetables, whole, intact, not denatured, in their beautiful state. They all offer us, the fruits offer us this cellular hydration that nothing else is gonna do, anti-aging, hydrating at a deep level of the body and keeping those energy levels consistent so we're not feeling deprived, weak. I have a group to support you on this journey. If you are interested in having accountability, community, calls with me every week. I have my Rawlicious app. Everything's at rawliciousyou.com. Reach out to me anytime if you've got any questions. Don't hesitate to reach out to me. It's an exciting journey and I wish you all the best on yours and I hope we can connect in some way. Be feel and stay Rollicious.